It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Travelerschampionship.com, folks. Uh, tickets are still available. This event is so unique for so many reasons. And yes, TPC River Highlands is a big part of it. Andy Bissett is the Executive Vice President and Chief Administrative Officer for Travelers. We've been, we, we've been having these get-togethers now, Andy. I, I don't even know how many years it has been. Many, many, Matt. A long, long time. A long, long time, and rightfully so. We've seen the evolution of this event to a point now that it is a signature event. Yeah. And so I love asking you this question, Andy. If, if we bump into each other at an airport someplace, I didn't know who you were sitting next to each other, and you go, oh, well, among things we do is the Travel Championship. And I said, what's the Travel Championship? What would the answer be? I would say we're the best golf tournament on the PGA Tour. And we've been working for 18 years to be world-class, and now we are world-class. We are the best. That perspective, the best, is something that you guys work on and work on and work on and work on. And I think the reason why you've accomplished it is because you never seem to settle on your laurels, no matter what you do. Like the next day, and this will be next Monday, right? You'll sit back and go, what can we do better? Yeah, and you know, Matt, I've said this to you many times as a former athlete. I know one thing. I, I only know get better, get better, get better. And our motto for 18th, this will be our 18th tournament this year. And all I know is don't, don't accept the status quo. Don't accept where you're at today. Always strive to be better. And look every year for things. Matter of fact, you know, as my team got ready for this week, we talked about what, what should everybody be doing. And I said to everyone, like there's 50 of us in total between Nathan, group staff, and mine. I said, next week, or when you're working on the tournament, go out and look at what can, what can we do better around the tournament. I don't care if it's in your bailiwick or not. Go look at the whole tournament and come up with ideas of how we can be better next year. All right, so Andy was talking about him being an athlete. I want to define that for the, those of you who don't know. He was a U.S. Olympic athlete. Uh, and, and to that standpoint, given that fact that we have an Olympic year before us, it speaks to an athlete's mentality. Yeah. I want to ask you about a corporate mentality for a second. Yeah, sure. This Travelers Championship for travelers, yeah. why do you do it? What's in it for the corporation? You know, and the reason we, we decided, Alan Schnitzer, our chairman and CEO, and I talked and decided that we, we, should, we should pursue the signature status. And why? Because, you know, we, we, we would have a field of 70 to 80 players, the very best players in the world. And that leads, though, to the ultimate goal of giving more to charity and doing more good for our community and community pride, and not just for the state of Connecticut, but for all of New England and the Northeast, because we're the only PGA Tour event in the Northeast this summer. And so when you look at all these benefits to charity, you know, and, and this will be our 18th year, right? We've given almost $30 million to charity and benefited probably over a thousand different organizations. And that so fits with who we are travelers, because every year at travelers, we give over $24 million to different organizations, charitable, nonprofits, to make sure that they survive and thrive and do really good for our society. Very, very cool. I want to talk to you a little bit more about the charities because you, you mentioned the fact that you guys decided, oh, we're going to be the signature event. We're going to step up to that level. Yeah. I have heard from other title sponsors that they want to ensure that the focus is not simply upon being a signature event and the size of the purse and the strength of the field, that the charitable aspect of who they are and what they do is equally as important. Do you share that perspective? Absolutely. And, but I look at this in a business perspective that you know, it's a means to get to the ends, right? And you have to have a business plan, you have to have a strategy, and you have to deliver on it. And I think what's really important here is that having such a strong field is is what makes the fans want to come out and participate even in the nba finals i mean all those people all those guys on those teams aren't they aren't all the best players in the world they have a lot of good players and world-class players but it's the same type of thing it's where you can come here i think it's the only sport that you can come see all the best players in the world competing against each other for four days as a title sponsor then, Andy, because you talked about players last week, of course, we saw Bryson DeChambeau winning the U.S. Open. Uh, we know what is brewing behind the scenes with Liv and the PGA Tour. As a title sponsor, how important is it for you to say, you know, let's just keep moving forward on this and the path that we're on? Yeah, you know, I, it, it, it's a game, right? It's a sport, and we should have all the best players in the world competing. And, and I understand, I've been a part of a lot of conversations, but I also talked to Jay Monahan, the commissioner, quite a bit. And 
I know that this will, will happen. I know that they will figure it out. And I think that's really important for for all of us in the sport to do that. As a matter of fact, you know, when Bryson won the U.S. Open, I sent him a text and I said, hey, congratulations. Wow, what tough play. What great play. You played some great golf for, for, for four days, and I'm so proud of you. And, you know, Bryson's always been a huge supporter of the Travis Championship, as is John Rahm, and the list goes on. And Brooks Koepka, and, and, you know, I can't wait for the day that I can put their names back on the lockers and get them back in here to play. That is so awesome. Uh, I do want to follow up on the charitable part as well, because you talked about a variety of different charities. Yeah. But I love to ask you about the Hole in the Wall game camp, yeah. because it is such a unique place. And it has, I know, been near and dear to the Travelers Championship and to Travelers yeah. for a long, long time. Could you talk to the world about why it is so special? You know, Paul Newman's vision back in the 1980s was to give the, the, these young kids who are seriously ill a place to go raise a little hell. And, and I thought that was a great quote. I mean, leave it to Paul Newman to figure that out. And I go out to camp and I see the kids out there and they have sickle cell anemia, they have cancers of different types. The list goes on and on. And it's just terrific what they do. But I think that the, the beauty of the Travis Championship is that we give to many charities. And while camp is critically important, we're, we're so focused right now on mental health and on food insecurity and other charities, military, disabilities. But, but you know, you look at the mental health problems in this country right now, and it shouldn't be. I mean, and, and we need to do something about it. And food insecurity, are you kidding? I mean, people should know that they can eat and survive and thrive. Because if you can't eat, if you can't resolve your mental health issues, you can't thrive. You're, you have to survive, right? And you have to thrive. And to me, that's critically important to what we do here. So we hit so many different charitable organizations that do so much good for so many issues in our society. I think that's what makes me so excited to keep going here and keep doing this and making it bigger and bigger and better and giving more money to charity because we're helping so many different causes that are so critical to our society and to all of us who are human beings. You know, Andy, as both his business executive and as an athlete, a former U.S. Olympian, I do want to ask you about something kind of veering off the golf page for a second. Uh, Coach Dan Hurley, I know you're very close with him yeah. at, at UConn. Did it surprise you at all that when he turned down the Lakers and a massive sum of money to stay here and continue to build on what he's already – the foundation he's made? I know you probably won't believe me, but did it surprise me? No. I – Dan – Dan is a tremendous human being, and he's so driven. And I've lived a big part of my life around driven people. And 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 I I, I kept thinking to myself, a personal one guy's opinion, right? That the LA Lakers going to live in LA, being a businessman, okay. So I'm thinking, well, even if they pay him like 70 million, half of that goes away in taxes. So now you're down to 35. A house in LA costs you a lot more than around here in Connecticut. So that's going to cost you. So I kept doing the math, and I'm going, and I'm sure that's not what he did, but that's what I do. And I think to myself, wow, this is quite a. Huh, I'm not sure that I would go there. And so no, I think that Dan Hurley is a college guy. You look at his his father's history of where he stayed to coach through his career, and I think I think Coach Hurley is just a, a wonderful human being, but a good guy too and I think that when he and his coaches you know Luke Murray and Kamani um, and uh, Young and uh, uh, Tom Moore when you look at the coaching staff there right it's all about the team and the team he's put together is so world-class that I, I think it's second to none I think they're great people and um, you know, whenever we get them out there, they're working hard, I think, for three-peat. Although, I keep going, you know, three-peat, what's that mean even in the whole sense of everything? But but they're working really hard uh, right now and practicing and trying to get guys ready for the draft and such. And so, uh, but they're very supportive of the Travis Championship whenever they can be, and we really appreciate it. Awesome. And we very much appreciate the time, uh, Andy, that you have given us here, uh, hosting us once again here at the Travelers Championship. Sure. Super excited about everything that lies in store. Thank yeah. you so much for the time. Thank it's always you. great to see you. Thanks for all your support over the years. You stuck with us in the early years when we were kind of nobody, and we've built this thing over 18 years uh, with a lot of support. But what you've done to help us here to make this means the world to us, and I cannot thank you enough, and you're a great friend.